Welcome back to our messy, messy barn and another home remodel video. We have another small project today to accessorize Belle's bedroom for her bedroom makeover. We are going to be building an art wall. An art wall is basically a place for Belle to hang and display all of her artwork. She's a beautiful artist. She is just great at drawing. She enjoys to draw and color and create and cut out paper shapes and do all kinds of things. So we really wanted to make a space for her to display her art. We're going to be building a simple art wall, which is going to consist of basically a wooden frame with strings going across to hang her art on. It's going to be really simple, but really cool. And it's going to fit the simple minimalist style that we have in her bedroom. And it's going to make it easy for her to change out her art and her decorations without putting a bunch of holes in the wall. We want to try to keep holes in the wall to a minimum and keep the room look looking nice. So I think this is a good solution to give her the flexibility to hang what she wants without damaging the house. So let's get started. First, we have a space by the window. That's where the art wall is gonna be. It's five feet wide and we're gonna go four feet tall. That's the height of the window. So it'll go right next to the window and fill up that wall space. So let's stop talking and start building. Now cool things don't have to cost a lot of money. So let's keep this cheap, keep it simple and see what wood we have in our leftover stash. All right, I got a lot of this leftover stock of wood from making trim for the house. So this is basically three quarter inches thick by almost an inch and a half, probably a little less, like inch and three eighths. I think I'm gonna make my frame out of this. We don't want it to be really bulky on the wall. Uh, the art should be the, the main focus, not the frame. All right, I have my four pieces cut. These two are the side pieces, and this is the bottom, that's the top. Tried getting the best pieces I could, but these are scrap wood, so they're not perfect. Now you'll see how I'm gonna be attaching these, but they're gonna to come together like this, where this one's sideways, this one's flat. I'm gonna bevel the top of this. I'm just gonna cut that corner off so it doesn't end so bluntly. Just like that. All right, now this part is just for fun. I could just put this together right now and it would be very quick and easy and just done. I call it done, but I gotta remember the top and bottom. I decided that I wanted to add a little decorative touch to this. Okay, so what I just did was I put a line about every width of this board on the top of it. I'm gonna use that as my guide to run it through my table saw at 45 degrees. I only have my table saw up like an eighth of an inch. We're going back through the other way using the same marks as my guides.
That was totally not necessary, but I think it came out really cool. I'm just gonna do the top piece, I think, so that it stands out. Let's sand it down. So I just marked out where I want my holes to be, and these holes are gonna be where the string goes through. So I'm gonna clamp them together and drill them. Making sure that they're pretty lined up. I just countersunk the holes just a hair so that when I put the strings in, I can knot them and they won't stick out so much. All right, those are done. I'm going to be using pocket hole screws to attach the sides to the top and bottom just to make it a little bit neater. All right guys, we're finally ready for assembly. So let's get it together. All right, the last piece of the art wall is string and I got this ball of cotton string, it's pretty thick. And we're gonna be using this as the hangers. So putting the string in isn't that hard. And we're just putting a knot on each end. I'm just pulling it through like as tight as I can and putting a knot and then when it springs back, it's about right. Getting that knot in there best I can. Okay, let go. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Here it is in the room. We're just leveling it and trying to figure out where we want it exactly, but you can already see this is going to be cool. There it is guys, that looks so cool. Look at all this awesome space for her to hang things, anything she wants, all over this wall, without putting holes in the wall, and without having something like tacks or anything in the papers. It's really cool. We picked up a pack of clothespins from the dollar store, one dollar for 36 of these. And we can use these, or she can use these, to hang stuff here. So, obviously, she's gonna decorate her room and hang what she wants, but we picked out a few of her pieces of art and we're gonna hang them to show you guys kind of how it looks all set up. Now this is a sampling of Belle's art and you can see how it really is awesome and it livens up the room and She's gonna love this thing. This thing is cool. In real life, look at I can see it on the screen and it's a little washed out. This is really bright and vivid and cool looking. And I love the accent that these lines I made up in the top piece give. I'm glad I didn't do the bottom. I think that'd be too much, but that just gives it a nice little touch, something interesting and geometric for the room. And the cotton string blends in good with the wall and it just came out perfect. And the clothespins are really cool because it's wood and it brings that wood tying it all together, the natural feel. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. This is fun. She's going to have so much fun hanging her art on here. And that's going to inspire her to do more art because she can yeah, just display it. Yeah, because now she has a place to display it. Yeah.
Well, there it is, guys. That was awesome. What a simple project, but what an impact it made in the room. I love it, and Ashley, I can tell she is really loving it. Again, it doesn't have to be expensive, and it doesn't have to be difficult, and you can make a big impact in these rooms, especially a kid's room. They love simple things like that. That whole project was very inexpensive. All I bought was string. I had the screws left over and I actually had wood. That was all cut off from making trim for the baseboards. We had uh, bought some one by fours and we ripped them down to two inches. So that was just leftover wood anyway. So really cool, easy. Yeah. And just adding a little detailing to the top to spice it up a little bit and. Came out really, really perfect. Yeah, we love it. That's one more step done, closer to the reveal, and you guys are seeing the reveal in slow motion, basically. You're seeing piece by piece, everything we're adding, and Belle hasn't seen any of it yet, so I hope she loves it when she walks in and says, wow, this yeah. is crazy. She has like a dry personality, so I don't know if she's gonna be like, ah, should this be like, you know? <laughs> yeah, know. slowly taking it in. I have no idea what to expect, but it'll be cool. We're gonna wrap it up now. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and seeing her room come together one more step done. We appreciate you watching and until next time, take care. Bye.